Hello everyone, welcome to this new video from All About Optometry. If you're here for the first time, do remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video and of course press the bell icon for regular updates on new such educational videos. Now we are going to talk about something very new today. Well not exactly new but of course it may be a little bit puzzling and confusing sometimes. We are going to talk about spectacle frame measurements. A lot of times not knowing about these parameters creates a challenge while ordering eyeglasses or choosing the right spectacle lens. Knowledge of proper measurements assures a properly ordered spectacle lens. Hence we will talk about frame dimension properties because the frames that are available these days are more or less in different shapes and sizes and in way different designs that you saw years before. This will enable us to be more confident and capable in frame selection and order processes. So let's watch this video till the end. The commonly used system these days is the boxing system of measuring spectacle frames and this particular system works the best in all shapes and sizes of spectacles. Hence let's understand this deeper and deep dive to take a look further ahead. Now here we have a spectacle frame right here. The boxing system draws two horizontal lines on the top of the frame and two vertical lines on the sides that is on the left and right edges of the lens. All four lines form a box around the lenses. The lines that you see in the middle is called the datum line. It's also called the midline or the 180 degree line. When we speak about the lens size or commonly known as the eye size, we talk about the horizontal measure of the lens denoted by the letter A. Now when you take a look sideways, we talk about the vertical size which is the B size. It's equally important too. It tells us about the vertical size of the optical lens. Somewhere down the middle along the horizontal datum line, you will see that the frame cuts the lens. Uh, the datum line of course and this particular dimension is called the C dimension. Now the A and B size are extremely important to measure especially when you want to order a highly customized lens for example a progressive lens. It gives you a more optimized area of visual vision through the lens corridor by adjusting them according to these sizes. Now it's very important to also note that the A and B size are independent of shape. So as in this example that you see the lens shape is specifically a teardrop or an aviator shape commonly known as an aviator shape lens. It really is important to also mention the shape parameter in case if you're ordering for progressive lenses which will you know have a segment height which would be you know pretty high and cut off the, uh, the, the near vision area totally from the lens. Now let's take a look a little deeper inside and you will see that there is a line which joins the middle of the right and left lenses and this particular line is called the geometrical center distance. The geometrical center distance will be talked about a little later but if we go a little further we will talk about something more commonly talked the effective diameter. The effective diameter is the most common mistake that some opticians or optometrists make while ordering lenses. Well the effective diameter generally you can say is twice the distance from the geometric center of the lens in the boxing system to the most far away point of the lens edge. So if the distance is say 30 millimeters you multiply 30 times 2 and that is 60 millimeters that is the smallest possible diameter that the lens can fit. Usually it is more better and advisable to order a slightly larger diameter like say 65 millimeters. This helps in making adjustments to the lens fitting if you of course need to do so. The measurement helps decide the smallest diameter lens that can fit in the frame. Now let's move on to the geometric center. As you saw the geometric center distance joins the two geometric centers of the right and left lenses. Essentially the geometric center is at the datum line and halfway through the A size. This is not to be confused with the PD marking centers of the spectacles though they are different. Now you can calculate the geometric center also by adding the A size or the I size and the distance between the lenses of the bridge size together. 
for example your a size was 52 millimeters and your bridge size is 18 millimeters you had 52 to 18 that's 70 millimeters that's your geometric center distance now let's come to something commonly talked about again that's the bridge size or the distance between lenses the distance between lenses or the bridge size is the distance between the two boxes when both lenses are boxed off in the frame and is measured from the inside nasal eye wire grooves across the bridge area at the narrowest point. Mostly the eye size and the bridge are mentioned in the frames, sometimes on the bridge or the nose pad or the temples in some particular frames. Let's go back to the boxing system diagram again and take a look. The segment height essentially that you see right here is the length at which your bifocal lenses are generally fitted and interestingly the segment height if above the datum line is called a segment raise and if it is below the datum line is called a segment drop all right so now that we're finished with the frame front let's go ahead and take a look at the measurements or the measuring systems for the spectacle frame temples so there are two general ways through which you can measure your temple length the first method should indicate that the temple length is measured from the center of the screw hole till the end of the temple through the center of the temple and right across the bend the second more common method that we talk about is measure the temple length till the bend. This is an older method and in, in terms of usability it's not really used that much but nevertheless this system makes the measurement from the screw hole center till the center of the temple bend and then the distance between the temple bend till the end of the temple is measured which is called the length of the drop well that brings us to the end of this particular video I hope you enjoyed watching it and of course you got to understand a few concepts about how frame measurements are taken and what they are exactly meant for I will see you in the next video with some more interesting things to talk about until then, stay safe, wear a mask as always, and goodbye.